Yep, Sammy and Adam and all their friends that I know they're so, so excited to have all of you here. So welcome. If everyone could take a moment and just make sure that your ringer on your cell phone is turned off before we start. You can enjoy the view while everyone's doing that. Check. <laughs> Please have a seat. Love is a miraculous gift, and a wedding is a celebration of that magic, and that's what we're here to do today. We are overjoyed for Sammy and Adam, who are so wonderfully suited to one another that it's a pure delight for the rest of us to see how genuinely happy two people can be. When we think of love, we sometimes talk about people who deserve one another. Not only do Adam and Sammy deserve one another, they are the perfect match, the quintessential two peas in a pod. They are the example of love that in its lightheartedness dissolves the notion of love as hard work. They are the promise of possibility, the expectation of a joyful surprise. So hooray, hooray. everyone. Hooray. Hooray. We're here to celebrate, to honor, to laugh, to dance, and to be glad because the inevitable has happened. Love is alive and well in the land. Sammy and Adam are here to prove it, and we are here to celebrate with them. We are all exuberant and grateful to be here for these two lovebirds. We're exuberant because frankly, it's wonderful that Sammy and Adam have fallen in love and that they feel so good about one another. For them, of course, today is absolutely wonderful. A magical rabbit pulled out of life's hat. But today is also a celebration for the rest of us. For it is also a pleasure for us to see love bloom, to participate in the wedding of two people so delightfully suited to one another. Therefore, Adam and Sammy, we thank you. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you and thanks for showing us that love can bloom, that marriage is a worthy enterprise, and that happy, high-spirited people are overjoyed to undertake it. This reading is from 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now, before we get to the party, let me say a few words of encouragement and direction for you two. Remember that a relationship is a progression there is an old Chinese proverb that says, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. For you, Sammy and Adam, your wedding today is an exquisite and beautifully choreographed first step. With it, you are passing through a portal that will lead you to many places, including ones that you can't possibly imagine or foresee. Wherever it takes you, there will be surprises, for this is the mark of a truly loving relationship. <laughs> there is a great joy to be found in such a surprising journey with twists and turns, shades and possibilities beyond your wildest imaginings. Don't expect every day to have this fanciful mood or the exuberant high spirits of today. But be excited, open-minded, curious, available, and inquiring about who you are becoming knowing that your collective experiences are turning you into the highest form of yourselves. That you are doing things that only you two together could possibly do.
Above all, remember that love is what matters. Love will prevail. It is the love you feel for one another that will be the answer to all of your difficulties. Love will be stronger than the conflicts and bigger than the changes. Love will be the miracle, always inviting you to learn, to blossom, to expand. Congratulations, Sammy and Adam. The real fun has just begun. Exchange vows. <laughs> Falling in love with you was the easiest thing I've ever done. There was never any doubt in my mind that um, that I would spend the rest of my life with you. You're my voice of reason, although I will not admit it most of the time. <laughs> Um, you keep me grounded when I'm zipping a million miles a minute, which I really appreciate. Through our good times and bad, you've always been my constant rock. I never thought I'd find someone as sweet, as loving, as supportive, and as funny and silly as you. <laughs> um, you make life better just being in it. I know you would do anything for me like dress up in an Easter bunny costume in 85 degree weather <laughs> on Easter. <laughs> and also, don't worry, I'm going to put this in my vows, I will kill every single spider in our vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> <God. laughs> Last thing is, I don't think this is the happiest day of our lives. I think the happiest day of our lives is the day we met, because that's when our life together Sam, today I become your husband and you become my wife. I will strive to give you the best of myself. I promise to respect you as a whole person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are sometimes different than my own. I promise to be your heater at night and your feet get cold. I promise to never hide carrots into anything I cook for you. I promise to hand you a shoe or sandal so you can keep killing the spiders in our house for us. I promise to be your bunny baby. And finally, I promise to love you in good times and in bad with all that I have and all that I am in the only way I know how, completely and forever. I love you, Bubbas. Rings are made precious by our wearing them. They carry our meaning, they say who we are, where we have been, and where we are going. They become us, they reflect us, they are a symbol of your love for one another. Your wedding rings are most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bonded, to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. As you wear them through through time, they will reflect not only who you are, but also the union you are making. As a sign of my love and that I'm choosing to share my life's adventures with you and of knowing that in marrying you I shall become much more than I am I promise that I'll always love you that I will always cherish you for all the days of my life
with my love and that I'm choosing to share my life's adventures with you and knowing that in marrying you I shall become much more than I am. <laughs> now that you, Sammy, and you, Adam, have promised to give yourselves to one another and to love each other through your vows and the giving and receiving of these rings, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Those whom God has joined together, may he generously bless forever. Adam, you may kiss your bride. May the, love, may the love that has grown between you be a blessing to all those around you, binding everything together in perfect harmony. An invisible thread connects those who are destined to meet, regardless of time, place, or circumstance. The thread may stretch or tangle, but it will never break. May you both always be open to each new thread that comes into your lives and may you weave them into a brilliant and beautiful life. Family and friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Adam and Sammy Mascarenas. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.